In this video, we're going to talk about ceilings. Uh, so to go to ceilings, you're going to go to your architecture tab, and it can be found in between your roof and your floor. So here's your ceiling. So the ceiling mainly would be used commercially to separate your working space from your uh, like the trusses and everything for your roof. Uh, so in this case, once you select ceiling, you're going to see this right up here. You have again your modify um, over in your properties. You can choose a specific uh, ceiling type. I'm just going to keep generic. But as you can see, my current example here, I have two rooms. If I wanted to create a ceiling for both, I would have to use sketch ceiling. Okay, I'm going to hit the X on there. Whoops. So ceiling, automatic ceiling is going to select a specific area that's already set up. So if you have multiple rooms, it's going to choose the room division that you have. So in this case, I'm actually just going to create a ceiling for this section right here. So as you can see in red outline, it is showing the selected area. So if I click on it, left click, it's going to bring up this warning. It says none of the created elements are visible in the floor plan level one view. That's the reason why it's showing that is because over here, the height offset is at eight feet. So the computer is thinking that it's not on level one, but technically it is because it has an offset of eight feet from level one. So if we go into our 3D view, we can now see we have a ceiling, a just generic ceiling placed in that area of our example, just like that. So if you want to change it, so I'm going to select it instead of basic. I'm going to go 2x2 two two ACT. And visually, it doesn't look like anything changed. I'm already in realistic. Um, but oh, down here on the bottom, you can see that you have these little tiles now. So if we change it back to generic, select it, go back to generic, those little tiles aren't there anymore. So we'll just go ahead and rotate this around. Um, so I wanted to create a hole um, inside the ceiling. I'm going to select it, go to Edit Boundary, I'm going to go to top here so I can see. And then simply using my draw tools, I'm going to create an opening. So let's say I wanted this as an opening. I'm going to hit green check mark, go my 3D view, and now I have this large opening in my ceiling. So you could use that for whatever reason it may be. Let's say you had um, another wall here and you had like a large skylight or something whatever it may be just know that it is possible to take out a section or multiple sections of a ceiling by just editing the profile uh, so that is ceiling It's very simple it's very easy and it can be found here in your architecture tab right here between roof and floor and ceiling